me and Paul are in Stockport at Manufacturers and behind us is a Korea Axia. So Paul, tell me some of the, look at this head actually for beginners. Tell me all about this head on the here. Uh, this is a brilliant machine. I mean, the, the, I think one of the focuses for Manufacturers has been this head as you pointed out and the RAM. Now we've got it extended at the moment. This is a traveling column machine, obviously a, a fixed table um, in the ground. All the axis movement comes from the, from the X axis. But this RAM, this Y axis, which is extended at the moment, is a box in box construction. And the biggest, biggest aspect to this is the fact that when you're machining here, as you can see the machine has been machining, in a lot of uh, traveling column machines like this, what happens is, you can only really cut heavily in one direction because you've got this kind of L-shaped construction and the RAM isn't fully yeah. supported. But this way it's fully supported through box and box all the way around it. So if you want to go heavy cuts that way or heavy cuts this way, you've got that capability with this machine. So that's great for manufacturers to have this and that is exactly what they wanted with this machine. And we were talking to Dave earlier and this is predominantly going to be roughing. Why have they bought this machine for the roofing? You're right, yes. We've looked at two machines. We've looked at one Courier for their finishing with, with, with the full five axis capability and this for roughing. And it's, it's one of the reasons is for what I mentioned there. Once that ram is in position and it's locked, they've got like these, um, almost like these, how would you best describe them, like um, levers which basically lock the ram so you cannot get any droop or any deflection when you're machining. So that's one of the reasons because it's stable. But the second is, as I mentioned, the, the, the parts are actually on the table and the table is put into the foundations of the floor. So what you're not having to do is move parts on a table left to right. It's all fixed to the base. You can hit it really, really hard. And I think Dave said 30 feet they actually had to dig to get this so sturdy machine so perfect for roughing as well what about the swarf evacu evacuation so as you can see we're actually caged in at the moment so we're quite secure but talk to me about swarf um because obviously we're taking big cuts so the swarf's going to be quite a considerable size it is and i think that's why you've got your cage area for the operator and when i used to use a machine like this and i did i used to use a similar one many many moons ago these were great for night shift because you could sit in there and you could put your feet up and read the paper as the machine was moving, moving up along, and down yeah. and moving along and no one could see I've you. I've seen him go and I've just watched him go No one like could this. see you because the door was shut but you're protected from any of the swarf there but yeah you are going to have to come out of the machine and I think the biggest uh, the biggest thing with these machines is when you're changing the part you're going to have to get onto the onto the bed sweep it up and, and get rid of the swarf but you know it's it's well, kind of a minor yeah and thing. that's the thing it's not like you're cutting little intricate parts is it where you're going to have a swarf evacuation look how big this machine is so it's just going to go everywhere talk to me about the tool changer because i've watched that in action and it's fantastic it's like a little robotic uh, fair ride well it's out the way it. isn't it i mean yeah. it, all the tools are out of the way so you don't interrupt any of your working envelope with them being out of the way and the tools are feeding into this head here and i suppose you asked me about the, the tool changer you can see that there but the the key to the tool changer is what you're feeding which is this head here now this is a, a head which is is unique to Korea. the mechanical design of these heads they've got like this double hearth coupling which basically means that um, you can you can position to something like i don't know it's, it's hundreds of millions of different positions yeah. And it does that as a result of this, the, the mechanisms and the mechanics within it, which is unique to Korea. But what it means is you can get to those real finite positions and you've got two and a half tons of clamping force once you clamp the head in a position. Now, the biggest part of that, it means that when you're, let's say you position on an angle and you want to drill a hole or whatever the operation is, if you went away and then came back to that hole again, some other machines would fail to actually um, get back to the same position but these heads won't because they're so well built and that's the thing that's why manufacturers have invested so much into these sort of machines so from a engineer's point of view how long is the table well this one i think is eight meters <laughs> but you can you know you can you can kind of like however long you want the axes travel to be in a sense um the be the, the, the brilliant thing about having a machine this size is this illustrates longer larger parts but you imagine you could have one application here and then another application further down the table it could be a big casting it could be a casing it could be you know it's not for the like faint hearted really is it's it it's not it's real heavy engineering yeah. which is what manufacturers is about here yeah and this machine was installed here two years ago their relationship with dts is brilliant i mean would you want to contract 
a company to install a machine like this if you weren't confident in them being able to you, commission it You wouldn't it even bother, would you? You'd no. be, you? You need that relationship with the machine tool company. And like Dave said, they are two hours away at most. They're always there when you need them. And I think that is why Manufact have invested so heavily in these sort of machines. And we've seen it moving. The coolant, the type of cuts, even the engineers, so easy to use, hiding on control. All those aspects really fit in well with this type of machine. They do, and you're right, this has been really good for their roughing element and then the parts are moved off onto other machines for finishing. But if you're looking for robust industrial engineering at its best, this company supplies it, but of course the Courier Axiom machine is perfect for that kind of application too.